At Northern Healthcare, our support workers are key members of our team. They provide 24-7 care and support to people living with a mental health diagnosis, mild learning disability or autism. I'm Joshua Daly. I'm work at Glengarth House and I'm a support worker. Ella Vile. I'm a support worker and I work at the Northern House. I'm obviously a support worker and I'm there to support the residents. Nova Healthcare support adults with mental health issues. People with like bipolar disorder, schizophrenia. Support worker is just it's being with them when they need you to be. It's helping them do the littlest of things which don't seem that big to a lot of people but to them it is. Every day is different. Every day you come in you don't know what's going to happen but You've got activities planned for every day of the week, everything different, baking, arts and crafts, you name it and they've thought of it. The best thing about my role would probably be going home and just knowing that you've made a difference in like one person's day, even if it's the smallest of things like helping them make tea or helping them tidy the room, like, it might not seem like a big thing, but it is to them. It is just getting to meet all, like, the different characters of people and getting to know all these different people and the different sides to them. And I just, I like helping them. Working in our services is extremely rewarding, but at times it can be challenging too. The people we support often have complex needs and we know mental health support work is not for everyone. When somebody's starting to relapse, it's awful to see. And um, try and help them the best that you can under the circumstances. A challenging thing that I've come across when working at Northern Healthcare was probably trying to get some of the residents actually active and out in the community because a lot of them have got used to just staying in their rooms or staying in the home and just living within the means when obviously Northern Healthcare is about getting them out back into the community. As I said, they're all different and they're all have their own needs and sometimes it's a bit difficult to work out exactly what it is they need. Whenever you're on shift there's always a team leader and there's always more than one staff member so if you do come across a challenge or a situation where you don't think you can handle it on your own, there is always somebody else that you can go to and like, ask them for help as well. So I'm supported by my team and by my uh, team leader, my manager and sometimes the residents. Northern Healthcare is different from other competitors because we are very person-centred. So whether you're in the, working in the house with all of the service users, you'll get allocated like one person to, work, to focus on. So you can spend that day or even an hour of that day just kind of focusing on that one person. One resident who was refusing medication and that was making him erratic. He was very heightened all the time, shouting. I managed to talk to him build that connection in order to get him to take the medication and agree to continue taking it and that really helped his mental health because he then stopped declining and started getting better. So like I said before about it being the little things and we've got a service user that you find it hard to get the motivation to do anything whether it be clean the dishes or tidy the room but when they've done it, it's, they've got such a sense of accomplishment that it's so worth it, so worth it. So we help each other every day, everyday tasks. It's, it's one of them where we've got to divide all of the workload and make sure that we're all there for each other in different circumstances. When a service user has become quite um, manic, like say some, only one person was dealing with that, then by Obviously somebody else come in to intervene and kind of calm the situation down, kind of take a little bit of the load off that person, then it helps, like it just, it, it proper helps. Because you're not, you know that you're not dealing with it on your own and that you have got the rest of your team there to support you and help you, but you're not on your own. So I have lots of memories about residents. Some of the memories are, are really good ones that make me laugh. I, I had a better time off and I, come, and I came back and they were all 
stood there waiting at the door <laughs> and they were like oh Ella's back <laughs> but um, yeah I remember when I first started as well and they, they were all there shaking my hand and being really polite. Reading like mental health support worker it, it can be quite scary to think about especially when you don't you've never worked with it before you don't know what you're going to walk into but every job like comes with challenges so I'd say just go for it. I'd tell them that it's really enjoyable. I think it's really something that a lot of people should look at because it's it's nice and, and practical, you're on your feet, you're always doing something different, never boring. It's it's something I've got to do. It takes someone special with the enthusiasm to help our residents celebrate the small steps forward and the patience, resilience and understanding to support our residents and fellow team members through difficult times. If you'd like to know more about joining our team, please get in touch.